You don't have to change them. If they're moving, there's no contractures, and you're happy with the size, they can last for a long time. The complications don't happen very often. Like a rupture might occur in one to 3% of implants. My experience, usually with larger implants, it's gonna stretch that nerve out. It's not that the nerve gets transected or cuts, it just gets stretched, and sometimes it can be permanently damaged. So 10% can have changes in their sensation, either loss or hypersensitive. That's the beauty of using silicone implants. It's a cohesive gummy bear gel, so it actually feels very natural, like breast tissue. So they actually have some that are the soft touch implants that feel even more like natural breast tissue versus the more firmer silicone implants that holds its shape. So implants doesn't really affect breastfeeding. A lot of times, the majority of the time, we're placing the implants below the muscle. So we're not even touching the, uh, the breast tissue at all. It doesn't affect any issues uh, during uh, the pregnancies or with breastfeeding accidentally afterwards.